Hey, T. Hey, TP Sports Nation. Welcome to the winter season finale. This week, we will be featuring some of our best plays that were uh, on our Instagram recently. First up, let's pass to Hazy and Bloater for some hockey highlights. Gavin, thanks for coming in. Uh, we're here with Gavin Bloater, a two-year member of the varsity hockey team here at Trinity Pauling, number 18. So uh, we went back to the archives. We dug up a little highlight from the Avon tournament this year against Ken. How about you walk us through what was going on there? All right. Face off. Little scrum. Just evaluating, see what's going on. Staying high. Puck goes into Caleb. Go to support. Got a lane in the net and just took it. Well, Gavin, thanks for breaking it down. I mean, let me tell you, you look great in that uniform. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course. We have Ryan Walker, true friend, really happy to see you here. Please, tell us what's going on here during this Kent game, emotional game, playing some friends back home at Pitt, you know. What was going through your mind here? Well, first off, I was a little disappointed in Gavin because he's in the box again and uh, put us down five on three, but there's no surprise there. Um, you know, five on three, you're just trying to get out of it and uh, try to, you know, not let any goals out, especially with Gavin's in the box all game. So I uh, just kind of lost a face off and just made a reactive play, tried to take away the pass, got a little lucky, missed the breakaway, of course, no finish, and uh, called Bain shot like Larry Bird from behind the net and uh, got the boys going. Gotta love it. Well, Gotta love it. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey happy birthday. Hey. Thank you. Pete, that was some serious steez. Thanks, Gus. Let's kick it back to squash with Gus. Go. What's up, Trinity Pauling? I'm here with squash player Gus Hufford, um, and we're going to talk about a few uh, of his clips. Uh, now, first off, Gus, i just love to say how fantastic you look in your squash uniform. I mean, yeah, you know, I try not to let my insane... Now, Gus, um, we have two clips here of you. Um, the first one, I think, is of you uh, hitting a fantastic serve um, that the other opponent can't return. Um, what was going through your head during that point? Yeah, so when I won that serve back, I was really thinking to myself, like, I can't screw the pooch here. Like, I'm already losing by a lot. This guy's pretty good, so I was like, really did not want to drop the ball, um, both literally and my Fantastic. Yeah. That is just some beautiful, beautiful insight into what was going on. Thank you so much. I'm moved. Oh, my God. Um, now, the second clip is of the opponent serving and you winning back the serve, because that's how squash works um, for anyone listening at home. You, you, when you win the point, you get to serve. It's very cool. Now, when this guy was serving, it looks like he has a pretty big serve. Were you concerned about that at all, or were you kind of relaxed? Yeah, um, I was a, was a little bit nervous, you know. Uh, was, he's got a big serve, but... Uh, Felt like I could handle him. Oh, wow. I'm Thank you. Boy. Thank you for your insight. Thank you so much. And again, you look spectacular in your uniform. Like, oh my God. If I was, if I was single, I would really. Hey Gus, what do you think about that? I think that was some fantastic interviewing by Gus. Thank you, Gus. And now, basketball. Hey guys, we have Suso here. Starting hot against Cho. Walk us through this tough play you had. So, I was coming up the screen from Sean. Took a couple um, dribbles back. See that he's leading off. I had a mismatch. Took the shot. And it just fell. I was feeling hot that game. Thank you. TP Sports Nation. Very special guest here. DMV legend, Austin Sway Williams. Uh, we have a play everybody's seen here. Uh, him breaking ankles like he usually does. Uh, can you walk me through this? Uh, well, uh, I saw the shot clock running down, and he pressed up on me a little bit. So I backed up to create space, and I made a move, and, you know, I hit the shot after. What a move. What a move. One would say very DMV-like. Thank you. I feel bad for those ankles. Thank you, Basketball, for some nice clips. In other news, um, wrestlers Devin Diaco and Kyle Lee both did extremely well in New England and are now on to nationals. Uh, Kyle Lee placed second in his weight class and Devin Diaco won his weight class in New England. Well, Pete, that's a wrap on the winter season. See you in the spring.